Easy. Back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. Yeah, day off your steam. Too much to do. Today we are back with Seduction, latest one from them. Very nice too. Now this one I think is, yeah, it's XFCE. It's got really polished since the last time I looked at it, which was years ago. It was years and years ago. A bit like Sparky. Sparky's got really good as well. Anyway, quick run through. I'm not going to do too much, because as I said before, in all the videos, we get bored. Okay, we don't want to do that. So, basic desktop. I've not really changed anything. It's installed in the box. So, it's, yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. I don't foresee any problems at all. I'll give it two cores, because that's all it needs. Remember, it's Debian base. Hmm. few things I like about it. Okay. I've not really done much with it, because I want to go through it with you. So, we can both, like, find out what's wrong and what's right with it. So, anyway. <clears throat> As I said before, we're going to be doing multiple videos of all the other videos as well to go for some other things. So what I want to do here is first go to System. And I've got Alternatives Configurator. Configuration of your deconf. Partition your editor, or partition editor, which would be Gparted, of course. Right, uh, this would be HTOP, so let's give it a go. Remember, it is in the box, okay? But that's fine, isn't it? Only two cores. Come on, guys. Super duper. 620 for XFCE. Not too bad at all, is it? Okay. Uh, we're going to do the system again. I'll have a quick look again. Uh, oh, now this brings back memories. Midnight Commander. God, old days. For those of you who have never seen this before, this is an old school file manager. Mm -mm -mm. We do it old school. I like that. Made me smile, that is actually. Okay, we're going back again. Uh, yeah, sense of values, manual, package remover, which I imagine is uh, synaptic. Okay, task manager, bring him up. It should be fine. It's not doing anything, is it? Mind you, we just had hate top up anyway. We'll go back there again in a minute. Hang on a minute. Let me do this. Uh, Where's it gone? Where's it gone? I've lost it. Ah, oh, lost it. Oh, never mind. Anyway, if I go to favourites, we'll open a terminal up. Uh, we'll open Neo Fetch up. Okay. There you go. It's Debian Bookworm. I like bookworms. It's okay. Kernel 6114. Superb. This one's not... I mean, I did run it several times, but hey. You can do plenty with it. So we'll just exit out of that. Okay. And now we'll go to the other end of the menu. And we'll go to settings here. So you've got your settings manager. Good, I like it. So we can change your screensaver. How fine mode. That's, you know what? This version of XFC is really nice. I do like it. Makes me want to go back again. Oh my god. What's happening to me? I don't know. I really, really like the look of it. I'd have to use it a bit more to uh, see if I can do it any more though. I like that, okay. Go back up there again. Go to settings again. Access everything. Just use your XFC. Everything is here. Look. Everything you want. Just set your desktop background, display your configure, get it, display your configure. Oh, yeah, mind that figure, you. Your panel preferences, your panel profiles, your power managers, volumes, session startup, I don't know, accessories. Comes with loads, remember, it's SFCE, that, that commander, still making me laugh. Take a screenshot, okay, we'll take a screenshot. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll do the entire screen, and we'll go, okay. And okay, that's now in our folder. To be in our picture, so if we go save to that, we'll go to our home folder, and then we'll go to our pictures, and there's our screenshot. Look at that! I like it. That's really good, isn't it? I like it anyway. Let's get rid of that and get rid of image magic as well. Let's get my nurse close. Superb. Okay, where was we? Well, let's get to some programs first now. Before we stop, I think I've been going too long as it is. We've been to accessories, been down to the bottom. Yeah, some of it is duplicated, as you can see, in different sections. And the graphics, we have a screenshot tool. Good, we've got a Gimpage, that looks like. Let's boot Gimpage up, just to make sure it works. It always does in Debian anyway. I'm not sure if it's the most current version, but I'm not too worried. Oh, now that's a bit slower. Is it going to boot or not? It has got over 4 gig of RAM, guys. That's just thinking about it, isn't it? Okay, we'll carry on doing something else while that thinks about it. See? I told you I was doing the same thing. Ah, here we go. It's at the same time as you. Just in case I can't edit anything out. Because, you know, it's like, guys, sometimes you watch a video 
and you can tell when it's been edited because it's not very good at editing some people you know go to about 21032 uh, I'm quite happy with that okay near the end for this first part anyway and internet get Firefox as your default so that's fine I see check client the usuals really nothing new about multimedia though audacious okay fair enough I can live with that uh, the screencast creator here is uh, some of you may remember this one it will be Voco screen anybody remember Voco screen oh there's a new version available so I could update that so that'd be super duper and 3.5 now before simple screen recorder came along and um the other one, Voco Screen, was a big step up from a lot of the others, and so everybody used it. But it looks like it's still pretty usable. I might have to give it a go in, in my other hardware, actually, and see what happens. That'd be good. Yeah, so seduction. First look and feel. It's all right, isn't it? It's not bad, not bad at all. But as I said before, we're going to come back to this one and go a bit more in-depth, I think. Just go, we'll do some installing, make sure things work correctly, etc., etc., etc. So tomorrow, I think, we're coming back with... Oh, no, we're doing... Oh, uh, we're doing Sousa tomorrow. Ain't done a Sousa for ages. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye-bye.